this is the first class of um, American Mahjong. And today, this lesson will consist of learning all about the tiles and different ways to use the tiles and some um, verbiage that we use while we are playing Mahjong. If you are a first time player, uh, yes, the game is going to seem very complicated, but the object is simple and that is to be the first player to build a hand with your tiles that matches one of the possible over 60 hands on the card from the National Mahjong League. And once you do that, then you announce Mahjong. It's a very exciting time. Your blood runs and you just can't wait to call that last tile for Mahjong. So if we're ready, let's get started and learn about what is needed to play the game of Mahjong. So we're going to need 152 tiles, which you're going to see in a moment. You're also going to need four racks with pushers. And these will come with a set, a classic set of American Mahjong tiles. It'll come with dice. They usually give you extra dice. And of course your National Mahjong League card. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one from the nationalmahjongleague.org. Okay. Uh, most people like to get the large print card. It makes it much easier when you're playing to read. And also the smaller cards, just, just a wee bit small and hard. And the large card is only a dollar more. You're also going to need a table, a square table, like a card table or a round table that's not too round, not too big, and four chairs. And of course, you're going to need four fabulous friends, neighbors, co-workers, anybody you can find to play Mahjong and it's really not hard to find people to play Mahjong with at any given time. So if you're ready, let's get started with the first part of our lesson. So let's talk about the tiles. There are 152 tiles in a set when you receive your set, there will probably be 166 tiles. They do give you extras. Make sure that you go through all the tiles and make sure that you have the proper amount to play with and put those extras aside because someday you may need them uh, if you lose one. But for now, let's talk about the tiles themselves. There are numbered tiles and they are called different names. These, um, there's three suits and they're called BAMs, Cracks, and Dots. So these are the BAMs, and then the second row is the Cracks, and followed by the Dots. These three suits comprise more than two-thirds of the tiles. Each suit, these are considered suits, consist of 36 tiles. Each suit is numbered one through nine, and there are four of each. For example, there are four one dots, four two dots, four three dots, and so on. And the same goes for the bams and the cracks as well. Getting a little more into the explanation of the tiles, the first suit that we see here are called bamboos. Okay, but we call them BAMs in the game of Mahjong. Each symbol that you see is supposed to be like a um, bamboo stalk. Okay, so you see the number three has three stalks on it. Four has four on it. And so on down the line. Eight, nine. Notice that the one BAM is a bird. Always remember that a one BAM is a bird. And you'll realize in a little bit why we have to remember that the one BAM is, called, is a bird. Every suit has a one. 
but the BAMs are the only ones that have a bird. The next suit is the character suit, but we call them cracks in the game of Mahjong. The red symbols down here mean something in Chinese. It means land of a thousand intelligence. See the one crack? That's the Chinese symbol. Oops. That's the Chinese symbol for one. But we also have the numbers up in the corner, just as we do on all the other suits. These are called cracks, and they are numbered one through nine. And there are four of each, totaling 36 tiles. Let's move on to the dots. We have a one dot. Easy. Some people say they're plates, other people call them dots, some people call them bubbles. And in a few minutes you'll see why they're called bubbles, but in the game, or why some people think that they're called bubbles, or like to name them bubbles, it helps them think of something. And once we get into the game a little bit more and into our tiles, you're going to find out why we consider these bubbles at some point. Okay? Um, it's basically just a way to help you remember something but we always still call them dots. Notice on the dots, two dots, three dots, four, and so on down the line. Again, numbered one through nine, four of each equaling 36. So our suit tiles are called BAMs, cracks and dots. They are numbered one through nine, and there are four of each tile, equaling 36 tiles per suit. Let's move on to the next set of tiles. Now we have to learn about our winds, flowers, dragons, and jokers. There are 16 winds north south, east, and west. There are four of each kind. Let's talk about flowers. In modern American Mahjong, all eight of these tiles are referred to as flower tiles, and numbers on them do not represent anything and are never used. Flower tiles can vary in design some depicting scenes instead of flowers. Let's take a look. Flower up top and a scene below. Here's another scene. And another flower. Again, flower and a scene. And a flower and a scene. Even though it is a scene, it's still considered a flower. So there are eight flowers in the set. Okay, now we can talk about that one bam, all right? It's a bird. It's a what? The one bam can be mistaken for a flower tile. Just remember that the one BAM is always some kind of a bird. It depicts some type of a bird. That is the one BAM. That is a flower. That is a flower. That's a one BAM. Again, flowers, they have numbers on them. One, one. Uh-oh, one, what is that? That's a one bam because it's a bird. Flower, flower. Some of our flowers are going to say the seasons on them. Some will have nothing on them. Some will have just numbers on them. Some will be scenes with numbers usually. We do not use these numbers for the flowers 
in a game of Mahjong. One bam, don't forget that's a one bam, not a flower. Next we have our dragons. There are three kinds of dragons. There are four of each dragon. Remember, there's going to be four of each dragon. We have a green dragon, a red dragon, and a white dragon, better known as soap. Get it? Soap. And bubbles. We're gonna learn a little more about our soap and our bubbles in a few minutes. Some hands are going to call for matching dragons. So the green dragon goes with bams. Bams are green. The green dragon is going to go with bams. The red dragon is going to go with cracks. Red and cracks. See the red? Red dragon goes with cracks. And last but not least, we have the white dragon. It goes with the dots. Okay? Why do we know that the white dragon, better known as soap, goes with the dots? Soap bubbles. Just a way to remember it when you're first learning. But this tile is always called a soap. It is the white dragon. This guy is twofold. It can also be used for a zero when you're playing a hand. And we will get into that later on in the game. But for now, we know that soap goes with dots. Green goes with bamboo. And last but not least, red goes with cracks. Last but not least, we have one more tile here to talk about make way for the joker. There are eight jokers. These are like wild cards. You can use a joker to make a three, four, five, or six of a kind. In other words, a pong, a kong, a quint, or a sextet. Okay, you can use this joker to make a three, four, five, or six of a kind when you're playing the game. But you can never, ever, 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 no, 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 use a joker to make a pair or as a single tile. Players may never, ever, 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 no, 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 pick up a discarded joker. A player may swap to get an exposed joker in their exchange for the tile that joker is substituting for. And we will get into that, of course, later in the lessons. Wow, look at all these tiles. What do we do with them? As time goes on, it won't seem so bad. Really, I promise. But for now, let's remember what we just learned, what we need to play. We need a nice square table and we need four fabulous people. We're going to need two dice and four racks with pushers on them. Push, push, push. And of course, 
all these wonderful tiles again, 152 tiles. So let's start with the tiles one more time. We're going to talk about all these fabulous tiles. So what do we have? We have bams, cracks, and dots, and they are numbered from one through nine, and there are four of each tile. For example, there are four one dots, four two dots, four three dots, and so on, and the same goes for the cracks and the bams. See if you can find any of those tiles, the dots, the cracks, and the bams. And these are our suits, okay? The suits are bams, cracks, and dots. Next we have winds. There are 16 winds, north, south, east, and west, and there are four of each kind, followed by eight flowers. And again, in modern American Mahjong, all eight of these tiles are referred to as flower tiles, and the numbers on them are not used. Flowers can vary in design, with some depicting scenes instead of flowers. And remember, very important, do not get the one bam confused or mistaken for a flower. Remember, the one bam always depicts a bird. Silly as it may be, it's still a one bam, and that's what we call it. Next in line are our dragons, and they are, there are three kinds, four of each. We have a green, a red, and a white, AKA soap. Some hands are going to call for matching dragons, and those hands that match would be green goes with the bamboo, red goes with cracks, and soap goes with dots. The soap dragon is also in hands calling for a zero tile, such as the year hand 2023. Dragons are sometimes depicted in traditional Chinese designs. And we will see kind of what they may look like with some other tiles that I have as time goes on. And last but not least, we have our jokers. Jokers are like wild cards. We call them the wild tiles. We can use them to make three, four, five, or six of a kind while we're playing, but you can never, never, never use a joker to make a pair or as a single tile. Players may never, never, never pick up a discarded joker. A player may swap to get an exposed joker in exchange for a tile that that joker is substituting for. Okay, let's talk about how we can use these jokers, all right, and what different hands may be called. Let's start right here. That is an eight dot, of course. And that is considered a single tile. You may never use a joker in place of a single tile. A single tile must be used if your card calls for a single tile. And don't worry about that card right now. We will get into that. But this is just so you know what you can use a joker with and you'll see it being used right now. Next, we would have a pair two of a kind. You may never, ever, ever, no, 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 use a joker in a pair. That is a single, that is a pair. Next on you card, you may see three of a kind. Can you use a joker for three of a kind? Yes, you can. So suppose you have two tiles and you need another eight dot, but you don't have it and you have a joker. You can use that joker to complete that set of three. Okay, so you have that. You could even do this.
you getting it? Then we would have four. You can either use all jokers, you can use two, you can use one. Or you can use three. Next, we would have a quint. A quint is five, and we only have four of each number. So you could do that. Or you could do this. Or you could do this. Or you could do that. And if you're super, super duper, super lucky, you can do that. One, two, three, four, five jokers. They can be anything. As long as it's... part of the hand. Okay, they can be any number. It's a wild card. It can be any flower. It's a wild card. It can be any win. As long as you use it in three of a kind, which is a pong, four of a kind, which is a kong, five tiles you need it for a quint, and six you would need two for a six ten. Let's try it now with showing you another hand, the year hand, where they use single tiles. Two o, oh, two three, the year. This is the year, one of the year hands. If you're playing that hand, you may not use any jokers here. Why? Because this is a single tile, this is a single tile, this is a single tile, and this is a single tile because they are single numbers here. So you may not use, no, 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 use a joker for that. Single tiles. Single tile. A pair. No, no, no. Three of a kind. Sure. If you don't have them and you have a joker, yes. And just think about this. As the game goes on, you're going to learn how to choose when to use a joker and not when to use a joker. A lot of strategy in this game, a lot of tricks. This game is never ending learning, but I am going to teach you the basics and help you to be able to play a game and win. It's gonna be really exciting. Can't wait for this big roller coaster for you guys to begin.